Everyone will tell you about the mind-blowing AI factory that NVIDIA just announced, but nobody's got the insight that Winston just shared with me here. Golden Retriever Investment Banker Insight. And I want to walk you through this because it's important and it's going to shape the stock market here probably for the next 12 months or so. But hold on, before we go any further, download this free explanation of the whole industry, who is who in the value chain and how they all link together. There's a complete article out here for you. I'd encourage you to download it, felixfriends.org slash semi and become smarter, understand the space, get your hands on it for free. Okay, let's run through what everybody's telling you. Well, remember the Moore's law? Basically it says, Every 10 years, computing power grows by 30x. Well, the device that NVIDIA just announced called the DGX GB200, catchy, I know, that device has 3,600 times the compute of the original DGX that NVIDIA delivered to OpenAI in 2016, which is only eight years ago. So 3,600x in eight years versus 30x in 10 years. I'm sorry, Mr. Moore, but your theory now stinks. Now, everyone is also going to tell you about NVIDIA Cloud. Why? Because it's amazing. It's wonderful. It's glorious. It's fast and, 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 and all of that. But the smart money is thinking NVIDIA might run out of steam and might need a little bit of a break. And that means it is not going to collapse. It isn't entirely a terrible investment, but they are looking to diversify the massive gains that they've had into other related plays. So let me walk you through where the smart money is heading. And you might be a diehard NVIDIA lover and you might think this is, this is treason, but just hear me out, okay? It'll make you smarter and disagree with me in the comments down below. We've got companies, electronic design, automation, engineering, software makers like Synopsys, like Cadence, like Ansys, they rose after Huang said that those companies will use these new Blackwell-based processors to basically put out AI into their products. Now, I made videos on both Synopsys and Cadence in the last two weeks, so check that out. And the other part, or the other company that Huang lauded yesterday was who? Well, the money maker of AI, Microsoft. Microsoft Azure is adopting NVIDIA's Grace Blackwell super chip and they're going to accelerate the AI offering, basically, right? And, and, and they're also going to offer an AI sort of SaaS thing for enterprises, for developers, healthcare, watch out, Palantir. And that's all coming to Microsoft Azure. Now, the next people you're benefiting from this are who I call the factory owners. And to quote Huang here, he said, everybody who is building chatbots and generative AI, when you are ready to run it, you're going to need an AI factory. And he then looked at Michael Dell in the audience and said, nobody is better at building end-to-end -end systems of very large scale for the enterprise than Dell. Dell stock going up. We've also got other software giants like SAP, ServiceNow. Again, they went up because Huang said they're using the NVIDIA platform. So he's just sprinkling a little bit of, you know, Jesus gold dust on other stocks here. So what stocks should we actually buy here? Well, first of all, I want you to properly understand the industry. And for that, I've made for you a download, a document, an article that runs you through it. It's called Understanding the Semiconductor Value Chain. And it walks you through who all the parties are, where NVIDIA sits in it, and all these other companies that we're talking about. So you understand who is who in this sector. And that's incredibly important. And I'd encourage you to get your hands on this for free how much they're growing, what their profits are and everything else. So download that, felixfriends.org slash semi, links down below. Now, what stocks do we buy? Is NVIDIA a loser? No, it's not. But if you look at big investors who've ridden the 241% rally in the last year up, 
Well, what's their job? What's the job of a money manager? It's to lock in profits. Realized profits are real. Everything else is just a number fugazi in your brokerage account. So these guys are looking to lock in profits and they're looking for better buy opportunities. And what do these look like? Well, have a look at the companies that he mentioned and you'll see some of these are off the chart. Literally, I can't get NVIDIA and Dell on this chart. But let me show you. So NVIDIA up 241% so far in the last year. Synopsis up 49%. Ansys up only 7%. Microsoft up only 53%. Dell up 176 whopping percent. And Palantir on here up 2%. Just putting it out there. Perspective, right? Now, I would encourage you to read the article that I put that together for you. And understand this industry. If you want to invest in AI manufacturing chips, processes, software, you need to understand the basis of that industry. I've actually done business with some of these companies because we used to supply chemicals to those kind of companies for another business that I have. So I have a little bit of an insight into it. But I'm going to actually make in another video over the next couple of days, probably next week, where I will share with you the results of my research into undervalued stocks that have this kind of AI linkage here. So subscribe to this channel and I'll ping you when it's out and you might enjoy last week's AI video next if you are so minded and make sure you get your pause on that free pre-article. I thank you for watching. I thank you for tuning in. If you're wondering what are the best AI stocks to buy right now with the current valuations, then this is the video for you.